Hi everyone, how are you today? I am Giovanni, also known as CryptoJoe101 on Twitter and today I'm extremely happy and excited to start the first part of the tutorial on how to build a block producer node, a Cardano block producer node on a Raspberry Pi. I have the Pi packaged up just here in front of me, so we're gonna get the party started just in a minute. I just want to say thanks to everyone who's been so interested in uh, these projects. I'm really humbled and extremely excited to take this thing, to get to get this this thing started. And uh, yeah, I am not exactly sure how many episodes that are going to be. I guess between four and five, uh, depending on how long and complicated they are going to be. But today is the day I'm starting the recording. So welcome. I want to remind I want to remind you that I am a stake pool operator and my uh, um, pool is called easy one so if you like the content and you want to support me you don't have to give me money but just delegate your wallet to my stake pool called the easy one and i will be extremely excited to see uh, the, uh, the amount of delegation uh, going up as a sign of appreciation of all the work that i'm putting into this uh, uh, tutorial i also do have a website as well uh, that is both in Italian and English. It is easystaking.org. Uh, you can switch language here. This is the English version. Uh, so if you follow me on Twitter, uh, the tweet, uh, my handle is CryptoJo101. You can see it here. And this is where everything started. This is the tweet I wrote now about uh, 20 days ago about um, if people on the Twitter in the Cardano community were interested in uh, a tutorial uh, sorry, um, uh, a demonstration of how I manage my uh, cluster of Raspberry Pis and the uh, response was overwhelming. So I then asked if people were interested in, uh, uh, in learning more about this and how to build this yourself. So and even in that case, the response was awesome. So I decided to buy one uh, Raspberry Pi and SSD card, but what happened is that I ordered everything and then after a few days uh, the package got damaged. So I ordered yet another Raspberry Pi and yet another SSD. This is the damage reported. So I decided to buy yet another Raspberry Pi and card SSD drive from Amazon. So I'm gonna have two and two of them. The first one has yet to arrive, but the new one is finally here. So the first step that you're going to be doing is the unpackaging and describe uh, what you are going to deal with. So without further ado, we go and show the superstar of this um, series of tutorials. There we go. So here is our uh, Raspberry Pi is packaged up. Uh, this is the way it comes and um, let's ensure that the item is on focus, there we go. So I'm gonna open it in front of you for the first time and I'm gonna be describing what I'm saying. So the Raspberry Pi uh, is extremely small, has the shape of um, a credit card. Uh, let's uh, check from the front first. So it has the Ethernet connector that is this one here. I realize that the light is a little bit uh, weird. Let me try to reduce a little bit the light from the window and see if it gets if it works any better. So here is the Raspberry Pi. Uh, the front is the Ethernet port, is this one. Then we have two USB 3.0 that are the one in blue. And then there are the two port in black that are uh, ordinary 2.0 uh, USB uh, plugs. We're gonna be using the, the blue ones uh, because they are faster, USB 3.0, and if we use a converter from uh, SATA to USB 3, we can actually connect the SSD <coughs> drive that I showed you earlier on. Now, on the side, we have the um, jack for the um, music, so headphones or something, we're not gonna be using it. Um, there is uh, um, a video camera photo connector uh, webcam connector, then we have two uh, micro um, HDMI um, ports, so we could potentially connect two um, 4K HD um, screens. Uh, and then on the side here, we have a power adapter that is a USB type C. The big boy here is the processor, here is the memory, and then is here is the GPIO uh, connector. 
we will not be using the connector um, uh, yet uh, or unless you have a box uh, in which you're going to be putting your USB in your Raspberry Pi you will need a couple of those pins I will show you later on which one are they um, so that you can use the uh, fan we're going to be putting one second the Raspberry Pi away on this side and we're going to now open the um, the SSD part uh, pack uh, let's see what's in here this is the crucial SSD uh, 2.5 inches and um, this is a 240 gigs uh, we're going to be using a ssd uh, because compared to micro sd um, this is going to be um, much uh, much faster and um, so here it is the unboxing done we open this one as well as you can see it's very very small and extremely light um, this is going to be crucial for us uh, to have something like this because as I said it's like at least uh, four times faster than the micro SD so that's it that's the first part um, we are now done with the unboxing and uh, I'm gonna jump straight away in connecting all those bad boys together and uh, we're gonna start with the, with the process of the firmware update that is the very first step we have to do in order to get the Raspberry Pi up and running and ready uh, to start our Cardano block producing node. Rest tuned, stay tuned. I remember you. I remind you just to follow me on, uh, subscribe to my channel, YouTube channel, and follow me on Twitter, CryptoJo11. And then I remind you that I'm Steak Pool Operator. If you like the content, uh, while you're waiting to set the, the, the block pr producer, take the amount of ADA that you're planning to put as pledge, just delegate to my pool for the upcoming times. And whenever your pool is ready, you can take it back. But show me some, uh, 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 show me appreciation of what I'm doing here and start delegating with my pool. Thank you very much and I'll see you shortly.